I'm going to do a heel lift, which in other words, I'm using the heel of my right hand to push up. And this move is very much like, a, you know, as if you're pulling up a cone of clay. It's a very fast and quite um, strong move. I've said in other places that clay has a memory of everything you've done to it. So you want to keep your moves sort of uh, um, Let's see, what would the noun be? Or is it adjective? <laughs> Your motions want to be methodical because everything you do sort of is a memory in the piece of clay. Oh, you know about whales when they, out in the ocean you hear them singing. If you, if you get a pot as it's going up, at just the right place, it starts making this humming sound. It's very interesting. I'm standing on some concrete blocks. So I can throw a little bit higher. That's so much fun. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but it's going... Well, it's actually an octave lower. It's going... You probably can't hear it. They're working on my road outside, so... This is just about the length of my arm right now, so I'm going to start going out a little bit. As I've said other places, less water means uh, more torque. So I learned that from Jim Keeling, who's the guy that runs Witchford Pottery in England. He said that at a dinner party once. I went, oh, that's right. You always see with the older potters a lot less, a lot less water. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, is as I've said before, the the rib is to the potter, uh, as the bow is for the fiddle player. And this is just going to be a simple bow uh, jar. So I'm going to just oh, there go the police, pottery police. But the rib is to the potter what the bow is for the fiddle player. It amplifies what you're asking the clay to do. I went and looked at the Burnap collection out in, in uh, Kansas City, which is a great collection of early English slipware pottery. And while I was there, I thought, oh, I'd really like to give a pot to that museum because they're, they have such a great collection of pottery. So one of the pieces uh, of this fall collection I'm going to offer to the to that museum. When you push down on a piece of clay from above, it does a lot of interesting stuff to the wall. And it sort of wakes up the pot in, in a really interesting sort of way. So before I get too far along, I'm, I could have left a lot more clay and just left a thick rim. But the activity, again, the memory and the material, if I push down now really hard, the whole top of this pot has to respond to that. And you see this sort of wonderful thing that's happening here. Um, I'm going to incorporate that into the final shape of the pot. Um, the pot will, just like in life, the interesting things that happen in your life make sort of 
uh, are real. So the clay responding to the activity of moving is what makes for good form, good shape. I gab a lot more when I'm making flower pots. This is, you have to keep your wits about you for this to end up being, uh, well, it's going to be fired at a very high temperature. There's a lot of money in the making of it. And so you, and it's going to be around for a very long time. So you want the pot at least to be memorable. <laughs> This particular move I'm doing right now, I want it to have the, the same personality. This line, I want it to have the same personality as what I was talking about in that, in the top rim where it's pushed down. So I'm just going to push down again, just to remind the pot of this thing. And the last move I'm going to do after I make sure that everything is really it's really there the shape you want the shape to be singing but it doesn't want to be contrived you just you want to allow the pot to have its person you know the the person that it's coming up to Or contrivance is the death of, of art, so um, it really has to be that the material is responding to the moving. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this rim. I'm going to, now that I've pushed down, I'm going to push down on an angle so that this whole rim is pushing into that wonderful ending that has been there from the from the way the clay was pushed on there okay I'm just gonna push so this is going to be a cone 10 uh, wood ash pot probably looking at it now I would say that it's probably going to be an Albany slip exterior with a wood ash Albany slip glaze on the inside which makes this top rim will be sort of a um, sort of a bright yellow wet melty thing and the outside will be sort of a, a very uh, somber chocolate brown thanks for watching you guys